This is the 2023 GMC Sierra 1500 Elevation. And we're gonna take a look at this truck today and find out if it is worth the sticker price of $50,330. This truck does have a couple of features that most GMC Sierras do not have today, but it'll show you some of what is available beyond just having some of the great features, such as the multi-pro tailgate, Quite a bit of space here in the rear area, the rear seating area, a nice long cab that means a lot of space for driver and passenger. And then there are obviously going to be lights all over this vehicle. We're gonna have LED headlights, LED daytime running lights, LED fog lights down here on the bottom. The tire size is 275 on the width, 60 on the sidewall size. So that will help to absorb the bumps when driving down the road to make the ride a little bit better. You do have the gloss black wheels that are 20 inches here's your elevation logo the power adjustable but manually folding if i can do that by hand side view mirrors and then obviously you have the multi pro tailgate back here that offers a lot of great features we're going to look at that a little bit more closely later on and obviously the easiest, I believe, to get in and out of. Let's see if I can do this one-handed, which I should be able to. Just hop on right into the bed. It's a lot easier than the F-150 with that just kind of much smaller, I mean, it's not even half the size step that is basically located from inside the tailgate. You pull that out and put it in place. Well, you've got a lot more space here. Two people could hop up, up there at once if they wanted to, you're also going to have LED tail lights. And when it comes to the overall exterior of the vehicle, obviously you're gonna have some really nice features here. Passive entry, and even though it's only on the front doors, on a higher trim levels, you can have it on the rear door as well. But the good thing is you push that to lock and or unlock the doors. Now, the trick here for people who might not know is you have to have the remote on your person. When you're in the truck, and the doors are locked don't worry nobody can come up and just push this button and try and hijack your vehicle or anything like that the truck will sense that the remote is inside and it will not allow someone to just come up and and unlock the truck by the way you can see the remote right here a little bit of chrome on the side to give it a little bit of a nice flare the gmc logo there and then let's show you how to use remote start real quick very simple just going to push that twice and the truck will go ahead and start right up. And you might notice, let's see how good you are at what you're hearing. What does that sound like? Well, if you guessed it's the 2.7 liter four cylinder, you are correct, but it has its benefits. But before I tell you about that motor, let's take a look at some of the additional lighting for the vehicle. Obviously you have the in-bed LED lighting angled very well towards the front of the bed, so it's gonna light the interior of the bed, no problem. Also the cab light, and here on the rear of the tailgate, when you have the tailgate in the upright position, well, you've got the light right here as well to shine down into this area. A lot of uses uh, as far as that goes. It's a really a multitasker. Now we're gonna talk about the motor, so don't worry, I didn't forget. I do like the fact that you have the hydraulic struts to raise the hood and keep it up in place. It would be really hard to have the manual prop rod to have to put in place here for sure. And yes, this is the 2.7 liter four cylinder engine under the hood. It's not hurting for horsepower and torque. Horsepower comes in at 310 and the torque numbers are rather impressive to say the very least, 430 pounds feet. That is big, but here's something that's even bigger, even more important, MPGs, 19 city, 22 highway, 20 combined, five gallons of gas for every 100 miles driven. And one of the salesmen here at the dealership told me he has driven one of these trucks around and been able to get up to 24 miles per gallon. This is mated to a 10 speed automatic transmission. And this particular truck is two wheel drive as opposed to four wheel drive. And taking a quick look here at what you can expect with the bed. Gaining access to the bed is very simple because you have the bed steps built in. There's one on each side, obviously. So that gives you plenty of sure footedness, very easy to gain your footing on there and to hop into the bed. Now, the multi-pro tailgate, I really like this because, well, 
it's a conventional tailgate as you can see here and i'm going to put it back up and then we will show that you also have well what i call your built-in table right here you could use that as a picnic table as a place to put your phone or your ipad or whatever on the a tripod and have a zoom meeting or whatever you're doing and have to be a zoom meeting just whatever and then here is one of two bed extenders so what happens if you have something that you need to butt up against here uh, for space wise and to keep it in place well that is there but that's not all we're going to also take a quick look at what we have with everything else here let's see if we can get that to come down we gotta put that up first so we'll do this showing you how this works i've done so many of these i should remember that shouldn't i but it's kind of a good thing i did that because here's the second way to use the bed extender so there you go option number two on the bed extender and then obviously you can drop this portion of the tailgate down and like i showed you earlier there is your step to jump up under the bed if you want to do it with the tailgate down that's useful now there are some options that aren't here but are available depending on trim level you can have the kicker audio system with speakers back here you can also have lights a light on each side here depending on what you're going to use your truck for so very simple to use and if you're confused about how to use the multi pro tailgate then there's your sticker that's going to give you the instructions on that power outlet right here you're going to have a total of 12 different tie downs in the bed and obviously quite a bit of space now if you want to know about what you can tow with this truck i'm still amazed that only gm trucks chevrolets and gmc's have this option the sticker right here that tells you what you can tow based on well maybe how much payload you have in the bed or how many people are in the cab and how much they weigh all of those things contribute just because these trucks can tow up to 9400 pounds doesn't mean in every single situation and if you're saying to yourself i don't care about how much you can put in that bed or how much the truck can tow i want to know how big the door bins are for my rear seat passengers they're big that's all i can tell you there is a ton of space in here this truck has plenty of muscle you can't see my muscle there not that it would really matter if i didn't have on my hoodie here but if you're going to take your friends to the gym blender bottle of pre-workout or protein powder can go here all the beef jerky and protein bars right here soft touch materials for the armrest and it is rather comfortable by the way doesn't it's not solid it's not as hard as a rock or anything like that and the nice wood grain look of the material right here it's plastic but it still looks good it's durable it's going to last and then a couple of things here that i really like number one you can put the cushions up the seat cushions up and have a little more storage space here in the rear maybe there's something you want to store back here maybe a late christmas present something like that it just depends on when you're watching the video too this may be in april when you watch i'm filming it on december 31st but you could put whatever you want to in here keep it dry if it's raining outside and obviously you have some storage space underneath both sides of the 60 40 split rear seats and then your tools for changing a tire if you need to and then something that i just love here on these trucks the in seat storage plenty of space in there on both seats so on the outboard seats you're gonna have that that's great i think that's a big win by gmc and then we'll hop our way on into the cab and show you i mean how much space can you need no matter what the case is there's a lot of space here and i like the fact that if you're the person who gets stuck here in the middle seat if you get kind of unlucky i know i don't like that so i try to avoid that the good news is that you don't have a really tall transmission tunnel here so that's going to help improve the comfort of the situation and the air conditioning vents down there and then you also have the power outlet if i can get that open there we go the power outlet right there and your usb connectivity as well and by the way i know a lot of people call this a rear window defroster but on the window sticker for this gmc sierra it's called a rear window defogger and let's just say that you're out in the middle of nowhere and you think to yourself you know i want to stop and take a break and see what it feels like to sit in the back seat of my brand new gmc sierra well here's something you better do first make sure because you're going to have this on both sides on the right side and left side rear doors make sure that the child safety locks are not active and how do you know 
Well, there's a switch right here. You don't activate the child safety locks on the driver's side door as you would on a lot of vehicles. You do it right here. So as you can see, you can see the diagram with the lock and the arrow right there. It's not active right now. If I push it down like that, it is active. Because if you hopped back here and both doors were locked and you didn't have anyone around with you, you better hope you're nimble enough to climb through that pass-through right there. That could be an adventure for some people. And for the door bend snobs in your circle of friends, well, they better call Shotgun because they have a little bit of extra space here on the front door. You could have the blender bottle of pre-workout and protein powder, the protein bars and beef jerky back here, maybe even a bag of Skittles back here for to kind of hide away for replenishing carbs after the workout. And pretty much the same things we saw the nice, comfortable armrest and all of that for the armrest there. And then we're going to have the manually adjustable, but it is fully adjustable, heated also for the passenger side. Obviously, we're going to heat it in fully power adjustable on the driver's side. And then let's hop up in here and take a look at what we have. We have the upper and lower. Let's see if I can get that upper to open. I can't get that to open one-handed. Maybe we'll be able to pull that off. Hang on just a second here. Let's see what I can do. Come on. There we go. Kind of had a little technical glitch there. But again, the gloveless upper and lower glove boxes. But you will find plenty of space for your gloves here or whatever you want to put in there. You'll also find the wheel lock key right here. And if you're wondering, what is a wheel lock key? That's what this is. If you need to change a tire, you're going to be able to use the conventional tire iron on all of the lug nuts except for this one right here. That's where this comes in. You insert that into the tire iron, and that allows you to take the wheel lock off. So if you were wondering about that, well, now you know. And then I do like the fact that we have so much space here within the center console. You've got the space right here for more snacks, cup holders, and then a little bit of space up here on the top and some space inside as well. But that's not all. Watch this, something you don't see in most trucks these days. Yep, you have room for six total passengers. And when there's not somebody here, there's even more space underneath the seat. So it really gives a lot of options within the interior in a multitude of ways. And if you're the door bin snob who isn't quick enough, well, you better grab the remote and claim the driver's seat if the passenger seat is already taken because you have a large door bin here, just like you do on the passenger side on the front doors, power lock buttons, controls for the power side view mirrors. You can lock or unlock the windows and control all of the windows right here. Then you have your mode selector, power parking brake, and then the controls for all the lighting around the vehicle as well. You also have a tilt and telescopically adjustable steering wheel. Let's see if I can get that release down. Just drop this release right here, and then you can adjust the steering wheel, tilt and telescopically here on the rear of the steering wheel. On both sides, you can control volume and the radio stations as well. And if you don't like the automatic high beams, here's how you turn those off when they're available on the trucks that you buy, at least here from GMC. And now I wanna hop inside real quick and we will go ahead and fire everything up, hit the push button start right there. We're gonna have the 13.2 inch digital instrument display here for the driver. Quite a bit going on there. And I talked about driving modes earlier. Let's see what those driving modes are. You can see you've got snow and ice right there, sport and normal. And that's what you're going to have as far as those driving modes go. Let me turn that down just a little bit for us. And then you're gonna have your cruise control here on the steering wheel on this side. Also the heated steering wheel. That's always a nice function to have. And then voice commands. And then you can go through quite a few features here. Let's see if we can do it up. Oh, it's not gonna let me do it right now. As you can see, application unavailable. Not a big deal. Just one of those things about it's probably not unlocked yet. But I'm gonna to take a look here. A very nice look here. GMC redesigning the dashboard for these trucks for 2022. Obviously, that's gonna carry over here into 2023. A very easy system to use. And I don't know if Google will help me out or not, but you have Google Assistant here that you can talk to. It's all voice command related. And so that's a good thing for directions with your Google Maps and whatever the case is. There is your rear view camera. You can turn the trajectory lines on or off, and you can also go to the trajectory line for hooking up to a trailer if you'd like to. Obviously, depending on trim level and options of these trucks, well, you're going to have a lot more available cameras 
here is how you're going to go home. That's one of the ways you can do it. You can also push that right there if you want to. And you have quite a few other features here. If you're wanting to know about how do you change a few things, let's look at a couple of things. If you hop into one of these trucks and you don't want the rear seat minder on, well, you can turn that off. Or if you want to, you can also turn off the buckle to drive feature. And I know a lot of people might want to do that. Hopefully you're still using your seat belt, but it is kind of annoying if you're just driving around in a parking lot or something like that. You need to move your vehicle from one place to another and you don't need to put your seat belt on. Well, it's kind of a pain. So that's how you turn that off among many other features. You can see some of your safety features here, features here, if I can get that out of my mouth correctly, collision detection, all of that, uh, your comfort and convenience, lighting, everything here to control what's going on with the vehicle. You also have teen driver mode if you want to use that. A really simple system to use and it looks modern. Even a little bit of space here above for more storage. You could put, well, whatever you want to up there. That will fit, obviously. And several one-touch buttons here. I probably don't have to tell you too much about what is there, if anything at all. I know I like to turn that off. That's the auto stop start feature or idle stop as many call it. And you kind of have a little bit of a place here to rest your hand. See how that comes out as far as it does to rest your hand when you're working around on the 13.4 inch infotainment screen. And one thing you may have already noticed this that you don't see in all of these trucks. And I think this is something a lot of you are going to like right here, the column shifter. Because I know a lot of you have told me you don't really like that new style shifter that goes down here on the center console on other trim levels. So tell me what you think about that. Here's the two main things you have in this truck that you don't have in most other GMC Sierras these days, the column shifter and the third seat here in the front seat area. And by the way, obviously push button start, I showed you that earlier, your dual zone climate control. So you can sync those together if you want to, or if you don't want to, you don't have to do that. And like I said, you have heated only seats. You can use the heated for the back area of the seat and the cushion as well, or you can turn both on depending on what you want to do. And a couple of connectivity options here as well. All right, as we hop out on the road for the test drive, I don't know how well you can hear it. Let's see if we can do it. The sound of that 2.7 liter turbocharged four cylinder, it's a little bit different. But you know, for some people, it's gonna work. For some people are gonna say, no, I really want the, the three liter V6 or maybe the maybe the 5.3 or 6.2 liter V8s. I understand that, believe me. If I was buying a truck, I would probably want the bigger motors, the V8s at the very least. So, but everybody has their personal desires and needs. And someone might say, you know what? I'd love to have a truck that is as capable as this elevation is but gets better gas mileage. I mean, you can't beat the gas mileage, that's for sure. There are mid-sized trucks that struggle to get 24 miles per gallon as far as their average MPG goes. So overall, it is a great truck and easy to learn and use technology. You may be looking at some of this and intimidated and saying, man, I haven't had a new truck since 1990. There was no such thing as an infotainment screen in these trucks back then, that's for sure. But GMC has a very easy system to use, that's for sure. So you're really in really good shape when it comes to that. You don't have to worry about a steep learning curve or anything like that. Plus with Google Assistant, it just makes such a difference in using the voice commands. You can ask for so many different things to be done, ask for different information. You can set up your navigation with voice commands. I mean, you just can't beat it. The truck gets down the road with no problem it's comfortable for a truck. You know, trucks have really become more of a luxury truck than just a typical pickup truck these days, but they still have the typical functionality of a pickup truck at the exact same time. So it's really a nice balance as far as being a family hauler and also being, well, the pickup truck as well. So tell me down in the comments section, do you think that this 2023 GMC Sierra 1500 Elevation is worth the sticker price of $50,330. The good thing, if you came here to Mike Morgan Buick GMC and bought this truck, there's no markup. They sell at MSRP. You can't say that about all of the dealers out there. Speaking of Mike Morgan Buick GMC, I gotta say a special thanks to my friends here at the dealership for loaning me this truck for the day, and all of you for being kind enough to give me the opportunity 
to give you a vision for your next vehicle. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn about other vehicles you may wish to consider purchasing, check out the video that's on the screen right now, and I will see you there.